Simplify the speech 128. Hey Andrew and hey listeners. Well, Andrew, I'm looking forward to today's conversation because it's a topic near and dear to my heart. We are, th- we are talking about grandparents. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this conversation, Cassie, because we were talking just before we hit record here. And you have some really interesting stories to tell about your grandparents. So I'm really stuck to hear these stories in more detail. We also wanted to give a shout out to our listeners, Fatima, who left us a nice comment on Castbox. Fatima wrote, "Thanks a lot for thanks a lot for creating these amazing episodes. I can't miss any of them. Thanks Fatima. Thank you Fatima for your support. Thank you, thank you, Fatima, for your support. So, with that being said, Cassie, I think it's time to get into this topic. We are going to discuss grandparents today. Now, Cassie, unfortunately, my family situation is a little different than most people's. I think because by the time I was born, three out of the four of my grandparents had already passed away. So both of my mother's parents, I never had the oppor- I never had the opportunity to meet. And also my father's dad, my dad's dad had passed away before I was born. So I really only I really only knew one of my grandparents, which was my paternal grandmother. who I called Nana, my Nana, and I knew my Nana pretty well. She has passed away now, unfortunately, but she lived until I was a teenager, so I knew my Nana pretty well. Cassie, what about you? Did you have a relationship with your grandparents, or do you have a relationship with your grandparents? Are they still around? Yes, I have a really close relationship with my maternal grandmother, who funnily we call her Bear. Bear, yes. Why Bear? There was a kid's book. Do you know the Care Bears? Yeah, of course. The Care Bear cartoon and animated series, yes. So, we originally called, um, when it was just, When it was just my sister and I, we called our grandma Graham. But we were we were the oldest cousins. When our youngest cousins came around, they read this book and they saw a bear in they saw a bear in there called Graham Bear, and for some reason they liked calling her Bear better than Graham, and it stuck. So now everybody calls her Bear. Okay, that's a cute nickname. And Cassie, actually, you just sort of hinted about something that I think is, is that I think is interesting in English speaking places, and that is that there are several names that we can use to call our grandparents. Of course, I don't think too many families call their grandma bear. That's kind of cute and unique thing. That's special to your family. But as I mentioned, I called my dad's mom Nana, and I think what a lot of families do is they will have different names for each of the grandmas so that the kids can keep them separate, right? Because If you just say grandma and you have two grandmas, then it can often be a little bit confusing. Like, which one are which one are you talking about? So, a lot of families will use other words like nana, papa, grandma, grandpa, Grammy, nanny. My great grandmother was very tiny, so we called her little grandma. 
So there are different names that we can use to call our grandparents. So Cassie, you told me before we started the recording, you told me before we started the recording that you saw your grandparents recently. Could you tell us a little bit about what your visit was like with them? Yeah, of course. So I actually visiting my entire my entire family right now, cousins, grandparents, sisters, but one person in particular was really special. It was my grand, it was my maternal grandfather. He actually divorced my grandma like way before way before I was born. Divorced my grandma way before was I born, but. They decided that you know they re- they really wanted to keep a connection for their child and their grandchildren. So he's always been a part of my life, but I haven't seen him in five years since I first came to Korea. Cassie, Grandma, my nana, like I said, I knew her. Until I was a teenager, however, the last several years of her life, the last several, the last several, the last several years of her life, were a little bit rough. The last several years of her life were a little bit rough. Unfortunately, she was ill and quite old and fragile. So, fragile. Fragile, quite old and fragile. So I wondering about your grandparents. What's their condition like? Are they healthy? Great question. My friends were really jealous of this growing up, because my grandparents are sup- my grandparents are super young. They had my mom. They they had my mom when. They were eighteen. They had my mom when they were eighteen. They had my mom when they were eighteen. Wow! So they are only like seventy-two or three right now. So they are only like they are only seventy-two or three right now. They are on. They are only seventy-two or three right now. They are only ten or eleven right now. They are only. 몇살밖에안됐어 They are only. Okay, just a little bit older than my parents, actually. That's what my friends always say. My grandma Tranwell, before COVID, she traveled all around the world. My grandfather drove thirteen hours in a day to get here to see me. For a day and a half, wow, he's dedicated. Well, he probably really missed you if he hadn't seen you for five years. That's right. But what's really cool about him is most of my family are Yankees. Yankees are people that live in north, northern part of the USA. But my grandfather is a southerner. And. He has a special kind of accent, Andrew. Where is he from exactly? Down, down south. He's from Arkansas. 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 Okay, the home of Bill Clinton. He is the only other person from Arkansas who I know of, Cassie. What does your grandpa talk like? Because I know that. The southern accent is kind of unique. Could you maybe give an give an imitation of how your grandpa speaks? Could you maybe could you give an imitation? Could you could you give an imitation of how your grandpa speaks? How your grandpa speaks? Could you could you maybe give an imitation? Give an imitation. Give an imitation. Yeah, maybe he will say, 
I reckon I'm gonna head down to the corner store and pick up a cup. Pick up a cup of jaw. I reckon. What does that mean? I reckon. That means I think or I will probably do that. Yeah, a cup of jaw is a cup of coffee, right? And he loves to play his guitar, which is, which is a guitar. Which is a guitar. Play to his guitar, which is a guitar. Guitar, yeah, the southern accent, guitar, a little different stress, a little different stress on the first syllable. So your grandpa's a guitar player. Damn, amazing. If any of our listeners know Elvis Presley on John Cash, my grandfather sounds just like them. Really? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I love that style of music. That kind of 1950s American country folk sound. A little bit of rock and roll, rock and roll thrown in as well. That's a really cool sound. So, did your grandpa bring his guitar and play for you? Bring his guitar and play for you? Yes, he did. Really? Wow. I was. I was so excited, and I didn't realize how much I missed it. But Andrew, he was two songs in, and I just started bawling, like tears running down my cheeks. It was so nostalgic, and my heart, my heart just burst hearing it. It was beautiful. What song did he play? First, he played all my favorite John Johnny Cash songs, "For Some Prison" and "Ring of Fire." But there's one song that holds a special place in my heart. He wrote a song for me and my sister when we were young, and it's about us. Wow! So is that the one that really tugged on your heartstrings and? Got the waterworks going. I was crying way, be- I was crying way before that, but my sister joined in when her verse was sung. Now, Cassie, you were really on the ball, and you didn't know you didn't know that we were going to do this for the podcast. But you actually recorded some of your grandparents' guitar playing. Guitar playing in German, and you're kind enough to share. You're kind enough. You're kind enough to share it with our audience. So you're going to play a little clip here of your grandfather playing guitar and singing, and we'll take a listen to that right now. Oh, you're right. Your grandpa sounds awesome. I'm almost tearing up again. I'm almost tearing up again. Tearing up again. Tear up. I I'm almost tearing up again. Well, you know, Cassie. Unfortunately, growing up, I didn't have the same kind of relationship that you have with your grandparents, just because my grandparents were around weren't around. My grandparents weren't around. Of course, I heard I heard lots of stories about my grandparents, and I think they sounded like super interesting people. My mom's dad, my maternal grandpa, grandpa, he was Scottish from Scotland. However, he migrated to. Canada and also lived in the USA for a little while. He was in the he was in the navy during World War Two and fought in the war. Fought fought in the war. He was a jack of all trades and apparently was really handy. He was an engineer. He was an engineer. He had a hobby of raising chil- 
chinchillas, and selling chinchillas. He sounded like a pretty eccentric, kind of interesting individual. So it's a bummer that I never got to meet him. It's a bummer that I never got to meet him. Never got to meet him. Never got. It's a bummer that I never got to hear, listen to it. It's a bummer that I never got to see it. It's a bummer that I never got to watch it, watch it, watch it. And the same goes for my other grandparents as well, that I never got to meet. However, I had some other family members. I have an aunt on my dad's side. Actually, my dad's only sister, who is, I think, 11 or 12 years older than my dad. She is such a fantastic person in my life, my aunt. And although she's not really grandma age for me, she was like the kind of grandma figure in my life. I think she really stepped up and filled that grandma-like role. So although I never called her grandma or anything like that, I think she kind of played the role for me as an older relative that I'm really close to. So I'm super thankful to my aunt and also her husband, my uncle. They kind of stepped in and provided like a grandma-grandpa-like relationship in my life. And we did lots of fun things when we were kids. They would, they would take us camping and we'd spend time at their house. And I'm still really close with them today. I'm still really close with them. So listeners, don't worry. It's not like I missed out on this kind of grandparents-grandchildren relationship. I think I had a really close relationship with my other family members that filled that missing spot. Yeah, it's totally opposite for me. Opposite for me. Opposite for me. It's total opposite for me. You know, you only had one that you saw closely. I think I have, you know, six. I don't know how common it is. In Canada to divorce divorce and remarry I don't know how common it is I don't know how common it is in Canada to divorce and remarry but it's very common here in the US I've had grandparents just hop in the family train throughout the throughout the years yeah that's really interesting well you know my nana, who I mentioned earlier, she was actually divorced. And I had a kind of step-grandpa growing up as well. Although I wasn't very close with him. I wasn't very close with him. I wasn't, I wasn't very close with him. I did have a kind of a step-grandfather for a little while there when I was growing up, when I was growing up. So yeah, same thing happened in my family. Same thing happened in my family, Cassie. And the one thing I actually think about when I think of grandparents is I think about the future because, you know, you hear scientists or doctors saying, that our lifespan are getting longer. Life spans are getting longer. Life spans are getting longer. Life spans are getting longer. You hear scientists or doctors saying saying hear doctors saying that our life span right life spans are getting longer. And I can just imagine you know, a couple generations from now, maybe everybody will have like 12 grandparents or something because, you know, people will be living longer and have your grandparents, 
great grandparents, great 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 parents. It could be really different in a couple generations. Yeah, that's fan fascinating to think about. I know that in my family, my immediate family, we seem to have children very late in life, which is why I think my grandparents already passed away by the time I was born. We seem to have children very late in life, which is why I think my grandparents already passed away by the time I was born, because my mom was thirty four or thirty five, thirty five when she had when she had me. So that's later in life. I'm. I'm thirty seven. I don't have any children, so if I do have children, then it will be it will be at the it will be at a late age, as well. And that's just kind of how my family does things. However, I have a cousin, and his side of family is much different. They seem to have kids when they. When they are young, when they are young, then the cousin on his mom's side of family, which isn't connected to my family through a blood relationship, that side of his family has children, very young. And he actually has a grandma and a grand great grandma. So there are four generations on the side of the family, and yeah, Cassie, I can only imagine as medical technology develops, even future, and we have new scientific breakthroughs and long long longevity. Maybe two hundred fifty or two hundred years becomes a reality. Becomes a reality. Becomes a reality. Then we are going to have great grand grandmas, great great grandmas, great 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 grandmas. Family gatherings like Thanksgiving and Christmas. They are going to be crazy. There's going to be too much people at the house. Yeah, you'd be surprised though, Andrew, because I feel like people are having fewer and fewer children. Fewer and fewer children. So you know, it might be the same amount of people, just more and more generations. But who knows? Well, Cassie. I think we can wrap up our conversation here, but actually, in a future clips episode, I I would like to talk more about more about this topic of aging and long longevity, because I think there are many many things to talk about. So maybe we will save the rest of this chat chat for the for a future episode.、Mm. But for today, we will finish things here. So thank you for listening, everyone. We hope you learned a lot with this episode today. That's all for now. Talk to you next time.